Okay, I don't really know how to go about this one, but let's do it anyways. The newest LEGO set on the LEGO art theme is the Rolling Stones, that's literally the set's name. A representation of the Rolling Stones band logo, the lips and tongue, which is probably one of the most iconic band logos in the world. LEGO has been doing a lot of super niche stuff in the form of sneakers, flowers, stadiums and now this one. Nothing against it, of course, this is another set clearly aimed at people that aren't that much into LEGO, perhaps as a way of recruiting them into the hobby. But from an hardcore LEGO fan perspective, I don't fully understand how this became a LEGO set. Again, nothing against it, it just feels really weird. The box of the set is oddly shaped, but will stand out in the shelf for sure, and it gets a somewhat premium treatment in the way that it opens, containing inside an extra inner box where some of the numbered pieces of bags were and the QR code, that will allow you to listen to an exclusive soundtrack created around the LEGO Art Rolling Stones set. The instruction booklet stays in the mood of the set and provides us with some info on the build, the background story of the logo and the band. The set itself, like most LEGO art sets in general, only ever makes sense if you plan on displaying it the proper way, as it includes special LEGO elements that allow you to hang this on a wall. And the back of the build, as you can see, is heavy on the LEGO Technic side of things, with a sturdy structure that supports the front. Not a whole lot to say about the build aside from the fact that it only features three colors, black, white and red, which made it somewhat hard to find the pieces when building this. The lip side of things is kind of flat, but the tongue part of the build is raised by two plates. I did like however how a combination of different kinds of elements was used instead of just going for plates or tiles to cover everything up. Red ingot elements, a new recolor of the element to my knowledge, lots of 2x3 tiles in red, 2x2 plates with two studs, round tiles and the curved shapes of the logo were achieved with lots of different wedge plates and curved elements, with two I'd like to highlight, a fairly new 3x3 corner tile element in both white and red. This set has a massive hidden secret that only people who build the set will be aware of. Underneath the tongue build there's a hidden 60, comprised with lots of round plates, as is the case with most conventional LEGO art sets, with a conventional LEGO art style of building steps with a colored grid. The 60 must be a nod to the 60th anniversary of the band, formed in 1962. Maybe a way of trying to make the set a little bit more interesting to build, which at first sight doesn't look fun to do, but as is the case with most LEGO art sets, I always find myself actually enjoying it. Maybe because it's so different from standard LEGO sets, which I'm building all the time, maybe because there's something enjoyable about filling big areas of space with LEGO bricks, I don't know, but I would be lying if I told you I didn't enjoy the build. I'm still not sure about the set, but maybe the Beatles LEGO art set did enough for the company to justify pursuing more music icons in LEGO form. 1998 pieces for 150 euros or dollars isn't that bad of a LEGO deal, though about 400 of those pieces are the small round plates of the Eden 60. This set will release June 1st and I'm honestly curious about what you guys think about this LEGO set. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you all on the next one.